All right, welcome back everyone. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the value of breaking news and particularly curated breaking news. All right, that being said, let's get right off the bat and talk about a feature that is unique to stocks to trade. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what breaking news is to set the context. And then I have an amazing breakdown, an interesting story. Okay, this is one of the more interesting stories I've seen in quite some time. So anyway, what breaking news is, it is built into the Stocks to Trade platform. Okay, it is a chat room, but it is a chat room powered by two seasoned day traders with over 25 years of experience a piece and they have been reading the news, interpreting the news for that entire time. Now, what breaking news is, they watch every data feed, okay? Every single news feed, they watch everybody on Twitter, they watch chat rooms, you might hear me talk about chat pumps a lot, and especially if you're actually looking to make trades, I mean, listen, you probably don't really care about some news item about housing prices. I mean, ultimately that affects the market, but doesn't really affect the market in the short term when you're talking day trade. When you're talking day trades, you wanna know, okay, what's this press release? What's this contract announcement? What is this um, you know, decision by Congress or something? Stuff that actionably moves stocks. Did this biotech finally release their product? Did this cancer stock actually get phase three off? Are they going to market? Okay, that's the kind of stuff that moves stocks. Now, that being said, that's what it what's breaking news is. Click the link below, get it. It's built into the platform. It's so powerful, not having to go to all these feeds. Last point I will make. I remember, before Stocks to Trade, before breaking news, I mean, I would every day, like literally log into five, six, seven websites, okay? and Java chat rooms. I know that kind of dates me and stuff, but but I mean, all the launching these programs, doing all this stuff, every day I had to log into all of them and all of them had a monthly fee too. I mean, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks for some of these news feeds. It added up a lot. Click the link below, breaking news is way cheaper because you're aggregating all that thing. You're getting 10 in one and it's the price, it's like one tenth the price, so it's a win-win. All right, let's talk about LTUM and the power of breaking news in this situation. So this is a unique situation. We've seen these before. You know, it only happens every now and then. They're they're very unique. But I remember the last one would have been, um, oh man, it's, it's escaping me. I think they're delisted now. But it was that company that every single year they'd put out a press release that their metal was gonna be like on the back of the iPhone. Penny stock, they ne again, it's delisted. Ah, it's gonna drive me nuts. But anyway, you know, this stock, they, they'd say, oh, we got a deal with Apple. Apple would be like, what are you talking about? People would buy the run up, they would get bagged. If you remember the stock, drop me a comment. I'd let it slip. Producer, delete that. If you, I remember, I remember. If you remember the name, of the company that like five times in the last decade dropped the ticker below. I wanna know, I did remember. It took me a minute, but I remembered. Anyway, um, so this happened again with LTUM. You know, there's been a lot of talk of Elon and, and, and uh, Tesla buying their own lithium production, okay? So many of you know, there's a lot of lithium in these electric vehicles. Um, the production isn't keeping up with the demand. So, you, you know, in standard Elon fashion, he's like, maybe I'll just mine my own lithium. So what happens is you can see it here, breaking news um, drops it, 11.47 LTUM spike from 30 to a high of 67, uh, uh, 67 cents, not seeing any news. Then they found the tweet, looks like it's moving on uh, that uh, Tesla has acquired the lithium mine day, uh, miner five days after he said he would compete in mining. Um, immediately, you know, like a matter of minutes later, hey, I'm very skeptical about this. Until I see something from Tesla, um, this could be fake or could be real, just be very cautious. So that's the interpretation and that's the experience of saying, man, this doesn't smell right, okay? So right there, if you see LTUM show up on your scan, you're immediately, you go to breaking news. I mean, listen, here's your lesson, okay? Listen, if and you'll hear me talk about this all the time on Stock Straight Advisory. If you're buying any stock without knowing the why, oh, I have failed, okay, I have failed, okay. Now, I know I've heard all the trade the ticker stuff, I get it, we talk about that, 
But if you're trading some OTC penny stock that went from you know three cents to 60 cents and you don't at least have an idea of what the why is and you're like, oh, trade the ticker, you're doomed. It's all over for you. Well, I, I tried to help you, okay? So what you would have done is you would have went to breaking news. You would have seen this stock on your scanner. You go there and right there, very skeptical. 11.57 a.m. right here in orange. My gut instinct is this is a fake press release. We will see what happens, okay? Again, if you're reading that and you're still buying the stock, oh, man, sorry to repeat myself, it ain't gonna end well. You got an analyst with decades of experience telling you, man, this does not look right, okay? So a lot of people bought it. I mean, look at the spike, look at the volume, huge volume. There's, who knows, hundreds, thousands of people that just bought because they're like, oh, lithium. And maybe they saw the tweet and they bought, oh, Elon bought it. No, not until you get it substantiated. Vice versa, 12.02 PM, LTUM in the PR. Here's a screenshot of it. The time says 4.27 AM. So here they're doing the research for you. They, they dig up the tweet. They find the screenshot. 4.27 AM, the stock spiked at 11.30 AM. Okay, eight hours later. They're, they say, hey, if this was true, somebody would have picked this up. They Breaking news would have seen this on one of their data feeds. Nobody picked this up. The company didn't even put out a press release. This is most likely fake, all right? Take it through to 12, 17 a.m. So, I mean, we're talking 20 minutes here, developing this uh, uh, trade, developing the breakdown, walking you right through it. 12, 17 a.m. or p.m., sorry. The news is actually fake comes out. LTUM CEO says the post about the Tesla news is fake news. The Tom Lewis comments by email confirmed fake from the company. Okay, now they've chased down a statement from the company. They've done all the work for you. And again, if you're not just a complete newbie making terrible decisions, they kept you out of the trade. It gives back the entire move in the matter of 15 minutes later and then basically closed unchanged on the day, okay? Now, you might say, hey, Tim, what's the point of breaking news if it doesn't make me money? Number one, they have the best trade ideas every single day, the best interpretation of the news. But don't underestimate the value, you know, you'll hear me, this is one of my favorite trading quotes. Don't underestimate the value of staying out of trouble, okay? Listen, if you don't, ru if you don't, don't rush into this thing and you don't lose 500, you don't lose a thousand. That's a huge deal, okay? A lot of people lost a lot of money on this thing. And if you stay out of trouble, you just don't trade it because these guys are telling you it doesn't look right. All of a sudden, you're, let's say you got an $8,000 account, okay? You end the day at 8,000. You don't end the day at seven or 6,500 or five, okay? Because you piled into a stock that you didn't know the why, you rushed in and you didn't use the power of breaking news. All right, everyone. Let me know if you remember that Apple stock, that crappy penny stock that did exactly like LTUM like five times in the last decade. Drop me a comment below. Hit the link below to check out breaking news. I tell you, I use it every single day, stare at it every day. They're there bright and early all the way through the market close. It's an amazing tool and it's built into the platform. We'll see you next time.